Oh, man. You know, guys, only Blizzard could go from a great start to a season with Season 9 to just an absolute dumpster fire for Season 10 and the start of Season 10. I'm just going to rant today a little bit. A lot of this stuff is fixable, but man, my experience, and I hope yours has been different. Let me know if yours has been good down in the comments. My experience with Season 10 has been horrific so far. Um, there's a couple things that they broke that I'm going to start out with and talk about this first. So the wide grouping stuff that they tried to do just has not worked at all. And I think they know this. Um, I tried to duo with my buddy Jack Razor, who played um, almost made Team Canada and plays Collegiate Overwatch. He's a former Contenders player, right? We sat in queue for 15 minutes, didn't even get a game. And we're just like, okay, we're not even going to try to play cop. We're not even going to try to do it. It's... They, they broke the matchmaking with this season. It's it's quite literally unplayable. Today on stream, my first time playing comp, to where I'm going to talk about this in a second, they didn't reset ranks at all for the high-ranked players and at least put us down to GM5. So I'm mid-GM2. There's no point. It's like the, the previous season just continued and everyone had stopped playing. I'm going to talk about this a little bit, right? I played more games of Warzone Rebirth Island and Paladins in queue for my matches than I did games of Overwatch today. And I, I know, granted, I, I, I'm high ranked, right? And so, you know, I expect some of the queue times to be kind of tough. But at the start of the season, at least as a streamer, damn it, I want to get games. I don't care about being high ranked. And this is a very unique problem to me, but I'm just going to rant about this for a second, right? You guys have had, G Gavin is new and the, the new people, the people are new, but we're 10 seasons into this game. How have we not added rank decay back to high level play? How have we not figured out in six years how to properly reset high ranked play yet? It's absurd. And let me tell you how you do it real quick, by the way. Every single player that is from GM4 or in GM or champion, right? Every one of those accounts should have their MMR and their skill tier division reset to either the middle of GM5 or GM4. So we can just get games. The good players will climb and the bad players will fall. How they used to do it in Overwatch 1, and this didn't work. This was lazy work from Kaplan and his team. Lazy is what it was. I'm going to go out on a freaking rant here for a second, okay? Is they would just set our SR to 3900 SR. The problem was, they would not change the MMR. So, if you were me, right, generally where I stand on the ladder is, you know, I'll, I'll peak at like pretty high ranks. I'll probably peak like rank 30 or... You know, sometimes I think my peak in Overwatch 2 is rank 13. You know, obviously I, I rank 1 a lot in Overwatch 1, but I just don't play like that anymore. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get right up to those pro lobbies and then probably start to fall back down, um, which is fine. But my freaking matchmaking ranking would keep me at 3,900 SR until I kept losing until I got back to those mid-GM games and I could start winning and getting my wins for the leaderboard. It is an absolute ass experience. I cannot tell you how awful it is, right? They just need to reset everyone's MMR and skill tier division that is in high GM to GM4 so everybody can get games at the start and the good players are going to climb and the bad players are going to lose. And it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to even out. But at least everybody's getting games. I am sitting in queue for 15 to 25 minutes a pop, right? For games that half the time are steamrolls in either direction. The, these games last less than like seven minutes sometimes. It's absurd. It's got to be one of the worst user experiences ever. And I, I look, I know this is not something to do with the lower ranked players. And you guys don't usually have to deal with this. This is just me personally. But it's been 10 seasons, man. It's been 10 seasons. Years. The old team had to figure this crap out. And they still haven't figured it out. So, like, the fact that as a streamer, I, at the start, at the launch of a new season... I get more games of Paladins and Warzone in by, like, a pretty large margin. I just have my queue time bar on the top right. Seeker and PGE were in queue for an hour and 15 minutes as a duo. Why are duos considered wide group? What were we thinking, right? What were we thinking? And mistakes happen, but holy shit, right? I'm just going to keep ranting, okay? I'm just going to keep going here. This is, it, it just, it's, it's ridiculous, okay? So high-ranked play is chalked. They haven't added the K back, so the high-ranked players will hit champion on their accounts and just not play anymore. So nobody can find games the entire season. Meaning guys like me, like, you know, we just have to play on all 24-7 because our queue times are so bad, which thank you, 5v5, for saving queue times, by the way. You know, it's but, you know, it's it's absurd. 
Right? So, so listen, here's the solution. I'm just going to tell you, Gavin, because you're a good dude. You're new to this, and I'm sorry for letting this out. I know the wide grouping Brit thing. Things break. It happens in game development. All good, dude. But for fuck's sake, reset everybody's MMR and their skill tier division if they're in GM3 or higher to GM4 to start the season. GM4 flat, so you're not putting them in Masters. GM4 flat is fine. Okay? Put everybody there. All right? Then add ranked decay back, please. Because it just it breaks high level play. Nobody will play and it creates a snowball where literally like nobody's queuing and everybody's on alt and like high level play is just like unqueuable. Okay? Incentivize people to play. Bring back rank decay. This shit is silly. Okay. Let's go to the balance patch. All right? If I have to play one game, one more game against Life Weaver Kiriko, I would prefer that Genji comes through my computer and just dragon blades my freaking head off. Because I like forgot like i don't think there's ever been a hero worse for the game if they're remotely playable than life weaver aside from like bo broken brig right like the, the this patch was shite it was shite leave weaver bad he needs to be unplayable that hero is so poorly designed like think about this imagine if they made a dps right and i like playing life weaver by the way weaver's a fun character to play but insanely unhealthy for the game Worse, like, if Weaver is good, and I've said this many times, right? If Weaver is good because his kit is all about denial, it doesn't matter how viable the kit is. It matters how much fun it is for the rest of the lobby and all the Weaver players out there. I'm sorry, you all have been done 32. They need to change this character from the ground up, really, okay? If a hero, that's only thing it does is deny value, deny value, and it cannot miss, Life Weaver cannot miss, is even remotely playable, the game experience for the rest of the lobby is dog shit. If I wanted to play against aimbot heals, right, that you can't miss in a life grip that bails anybody out from any range with zero repercussions. Unbelievable that ability has not been touched. Unbelievable, okay? I would play Bloons Tower Defense as the fucking Balloons, all right? It's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And yet, look, you guys have done a good job this year, generally speaking. Like, season 9 was a lot better. But for fuck's sake, get Weaver the fuck out of the game. Seriously. Or redo him. Make him have skill shots. Because imagine if there was a DPS that shot homing ranged missiles at you as a support player. Homing ranged missiles. Could not miss! No matter where the frick you were aiming. They only did like 80 damage, right? So you could sit there and heal each other. But it can't miss. And then they had a fucking, like, ranged auto-aim magic bullet from Mario Kart boom missile to shoot at you too. That's the equivalent of life grip for the DPS. It's absolute ass. And if there's one thing we learned from season seven where they buffed Weaver up too much, the game is absolutely fucking horrific whenever that character is good. Revert the life Weaver buffs immediately. Unfortunately, that char character is chalked and it should literally be sub 1% of the player base ever playing him. I'm sorry. And the character's cool. His backstory's cool. His skins are cool. The whole like theme around the character with like the pedals and shit is awesome. But if they don't change how he heals and how life grip works, the game cannot afford for the hero to be good. Because the game will always perma fucking suck. Life Weaver, unironically, is more frustrating to play against than, o than OG Brick. Not even joking. Because at least then I could pick Hanzo and like poke her out. This is before Bap was in the game, right? But dude, I'm telling you, Life Weaver has got to be the least fun character I've ever played against in a video game. I cannot fucking believe that this character is getting buffed or has not just been really changed from the ground up. Needs to get changed. Don't design heroes like that. Wipe my freaking butt cheeks with it. Just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay? Tracer nerfs were okay, right? But this ball rework, man. Like, you know, it's, it's just, I get the ball players like it, and I've seen some of the stuff people are doing, and it's crazy. But applying shields to teammates? Stop it. Stop it. Stop. That shit is broken. That's never been received well in the game. When Brig Packs overhealed armor, right? Queen Shout had to get nerfed heavily. It sucks for literally every other player. Can we stop designing things that take away from the experience of other people? Right? It's just, it's, it's, there's nothing more irritating than that. Nothing. Now let's, let's talk Venture, okay? Putting Venture straight into comp, in hindsight, terrible idea. Terrible idea. Still need some quality of life to dig animation sucks. Now I had a couple big Venture games, but it feels like Venture is either carrying or just complete ass. Just complete ass. Very mid character. I think they would have benefited from waiting a little bit on that one. You know, I think they probably should have waited a little bit. And I love Venture's the first hero for my role. I'm a little disappointed. Like, it just feels like Venture doesn't have a very high skill ceiling because, you know, they can't crit, right? They can't, like, there's, 
Only two cooldowns. It feels like Venture's missing a cooldown. Um, I think that instead of shields, like blue shields, sh they should, frick, they should generate overhealth, like DPS Doomfist did, based and reward the players for hitting the CDs, right? It just feels like Venture's missing a CD, and the melee does not count as an additional cooldown. Let's just stop the cap right there. It's not a rewarding one. Some of the combos are cool and setups are cool. The ult, you either kill an entire team or you just airband Avatar Aang. You know, it's just, it's just silly. Uh, but, you know, a fun character either way. I just, I just wish they would ex take some time to try to expand on Venture's playstyle more and more. And, you know, just this season, man, from the ground up. The, at least the Mercy players got their Mythic. I'm sure they sold a record amount of battle passes instantly. Like, that's, that's great. But the game plays absolute dog shit. It's ass. Okay, this season has been ass, and I I just need to rent, vent, rant, vent, rant, 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 rant. I'm just gonna freaking lose it. So look, I'll give them time to fix the wide group crap. Get, duos are not wide groups. Stop the cap. Fucking absurd. Get that shit out of the game now. Now. Get out now. Gavin, I am begging you on my hands and knees. Look, I don't ask Blizzard for anything. I'm not in y'all's creator server. I'm not in part of this program. All I want is the game to be functional so I can at least do my own thing. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm asking. All right, listen, man. Reset MMR every season for high rank players. You don't have to do it for every rank, but high rank players should all go to at least GM4, GM5, so we can fucking cue the game and stream it to our audience. Okay, number two, add rank decay back, please. So we're not sit like you don't play for 50 games and then get 50 wins. I'm sorry, 50 wins to get top 500 and then just idle on your account permanently because that's what we've had to do every season. Right, this has been in in the writing forever. This is a more personal thing, not for you guys. But I can't tell you as a streamer, it's fucking ridiculous that I that at the season's launch, at the launch of the season, I literally should not be playing on my main account. Absurd, absolutely absurd. I'm sitting in queue for 15. I I literally played a, re, a game of Rebirth Island and Paladins. Like it's it, in between queues. It's it's absurd. The games are fucking steamrolls anyway. Just at least let us play and attempt to entertain our audiences because it's freaking BS. And those are my thoughts on season 10. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is probably and, and again, some of it's cuz of bug fixes and them trying out new features, which like you, you do have to give them time. Oh, it's a crash. Ass. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That mode is garbage. Literally feels like one giant clusterfuck the entire time. And then when you try to queue it in open queue, they just pick Malgo Ryan Brig and you can't play the fucking game because Cardiac, they didn't balance any of the abilities for the open queue. So it's ass. Right? And again, they're, they're testing out Clash to try to see it's better. I'm not convinced Clash is better than 2CP. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. That shit did not leave a good impression on me. I'm not gonna lie. That was like the most, it was like a mid-off. Like it was at best. So, look, I'm not trying to sound like just some hater here. I, I just thought Clash was a giant absolute mess. And I hope they figure out spawns, capture points. Maybe we as players need to learn it more. I'm down to give it another chance. But holy hell, it felt like absolute doo-doo when I played it. That's just me. So, dude, I'm not going to lie. Only Blizzard could go from, like, a great start to Season 9 with the new comp system to just an absolute fucking mess in Season 10. They've got to clean this shit up. Unfortunately, this season's launch has already been just royally fumbled, and let's hope that season 11's launch goes a little bit better. Um, but I'm only saying this from a high-level player who could not even duo queue, whose ranks were and queues were so fucking long and bad that it just actually was unplayable. So I, I they need to sit down and look at high-level play for once. Stop the wide group shit. Fix high-level play first for the love of God. And just, just wait on this stuff. And 10 avoid slots also does not need to happen. I don't know what we're cooking with that. It's just, it does not need to happen. It's, it's silly. Um, but yeah, I hope they fix this. It happens. But holy shit, this was actually, I'm not even kidding. There were better season launches at the end of Overwatch 1 when it was getting no content than this dog shit. Like, my, my queues are worse now than they were at when Overwatch 1 was dead. Think about that. Think about that shit. That's crazy to say. And I'm not going to talk about 5v5 in this video, but, uh, you know, I think uh, if the game was popular, it wouldn't be a fucking problem. But here we are. So, yeah, anyway. Thank you for watching. That's my Season 10 rant and my thoughts on Season 10. This shit has sucked for me. I hope it's been better for you. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Take care. See you later. Peace out.